All right, all you guys having problems with your four-wheel drive, um, I uh, happen to have the same issue on this one. i uh, run across these a couple times. 80% um, of the time, it's something electrical. So I'm going to show you what I got going on. I actually don't know what the problem is. Usually when, uh, when I post a video, I already know what the issue is, and then I videotape what I've done to fix it. This time, uh, you and I were going to walk together and uh, try to figure this out. So, first thing you want to do is turn your power on, turn your key on. Uh, I happen to have everything disassembled here, so make sure uh, your all the drive is on. Make sure you are in gear, because otherwise uh, when you check your voltage on things, um, it's not going to show up because the shift indicator is not working. So, alright, uh, so what I got here is, uh, you got your cable coming down. And you've got a gray wire with a white line on it, and another gray wire, and then your ground. So, first things first, we want to check um, power going to, um, this is coming in, it's going right up to here, this is uh, going to your power. So with the key on, we got uh, one on the ground here already. And I have 12 volts. So that tells me there's power going to the switch. The other one is your gray wire, which will be going to the, um, the four-wheel drive uh, coils on the wheels over here. That is right in here. So I'm going to touch one of these. Let's see what we got. You got 12 volts on the uh, right side. And then it's just, uh, I don't know if you can see where I got it. And I have 12 volts on the left side. So I got power going to each uh, coil to the hub. So now I got uh, power. So that's a good sign. So that means it could be uh, one of two things after that. Either your uh, coil going to your clutch is bad or the fluid. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to check the fluid. Uh, if the fluid is bad or there isn't enough fluid in there, your four-wheel drive is not going to engage. So I kind of got that started. Let's see what our fluid looks like. I bet you either there's hardly anything in there or it's really black. One of the two. <sighs> yeah, I got nothing coming out. So, if there's no fluid in uh, the hub, the Hillary clutch will not work. So, what I'm going to do is uh, you can take uh, uh, actual uh, transmission fluid. I happen to have some over here. Little ATF. Uh, that should do it. I'm going to put those in both hubs and uh, see if I can get this to work. All right, I know I'm making a big mess here, but so you fill this up until you can turn this at about, I think it's like three or four o'clock, and then the fluid will start to pour out, and then you know you have enough. Okay, so it's not pouring out, so I need to pour more. So what I do is I'll pour fluid in and I'll rock this back and forth, kind of work it in there. And then go ahead and pour some more in. And uh, you had a funnel that would uh, fit this little hole that would be key. But I do not have that. So I'm just pouring a little bit in at a time. Just kind of rock it back and forth. Okay, so I'm going to do this and uh, the other wheel, and then I'm going to see if it works. We'll see, I'll fire it up, see what happens. So I filled up my uh, both hubs with fluid, and I started it up, and nothing spun. Um, so maybe started thinking it's the magnetic coil in the hub. And then uh, I had to backtrack, I had to think a little bit. Went back through my wiring. And uh, I ended up redoing a couple things. 
So your grounds, these little little wires here, it's a brown and white wire. On the 1998 uh, Player Sportsman, there is a place in here for the brown and white. Well, these are ground wires. So I just plugged them into the, the brown panel over here with all the other grounds. Cleaned it up, plugged them in. Well, I had power, but I didn't have ground, a decent ground. So here, I'll show you what, uh, what I got going on here. Go ahead and put that. Back wheels moving. Lights lit up. Look at that. So 90% of the time, it's a it's a electrical issue. I got four wheel drive. It only took me a few minutes to figure out. Apparently the kill switch doesn't work. <laughs> So, yeah, right on. This is a, a win for me. I thought I was going to have to replace the magnetic coils. Like I said, go back to your wiring. You got uh, your wires coming in here, your gray, gray and white. The gray goes to the two grays that go down to the magnetic coils. And then you've got your brown and white. Just hook that right up into the ground. A lot of times it's a ground issue, even on the newer ones. Uh, so give that a shot. Hope this helped you out. Uh, help me out. I can finally put my plow back on my four-wheeler and do some plowing. It's Wisconsin. It's December, and we're going to get snow in a week. So uh, hit the like button if you like uh, the video, and subscribe. I've got uh, plenty of Polaris fixes, two strokes, four strokes, whatever you got. Um, thanks for watching. Till next time.